Presley, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little on-campus apartment tour. My last video I posted was a dorm tour that I stayed in for my freshman year here at DePaul. That was Le Compte Hall and now I'm staying in Sanctuary Hall. A lot of my friends just wanted to see my little dorm apartment situation and I figured this could be helpful to other blue demons that want to know what upperclassmen on campus living is like. So I like to call this little apartment a glorified dorm. I mean, it's cute, but at the end of the day, it's on campus housing. So it is very similar to a dorm, just a little bit bigger and with a couple more amenities. Similar pricing to the dorms. It's a tad more expensive, but you get to buy a cheaper meal plan and you're still required to do a meal plan. I've been working this summer as an orientation leader here at DePaul and a lot of the parents and families and students have come up to me saying they watched the video of my dorm tour in Le Compte and said it was really helpful. So that's been a joy to have this summer. Right now I'm standing in my cute little living room. The college provided the chair and the couch and this little coffee table, but I have a futon and ottoman that I've just been using in my bedroom since sophomore year of high school, but I used it in my dorm freshman year and my dorm over the summer. I got to move in early since I'm an orientation leader. I got to get myself acclimated into the space on my own before my roommates move in, which has been nice, it's been peaceful, but I'm also excited for my roommates to get here so that they can bring in extra stuff for the kitchen and we can all hang out and get to know each other and it can be a little more lively because sometimes it does get a little quiet. There's study lounges on the first and fifth floor, as well as a gaming lounge on the first floor. The second floor is actually where you enter from. The whole signing in process is interesting. Laundry rooms are in the basement. There's an elevator on the south side of the building and the north side of the building, as well as stairs throughout the building. There's a little courtyard that joins it with the sanctuary townhomes. It's not wheelchair accessible, but on move-in day, they have a gate opened in the back where you can enter from Sheffield rather than Kenmore and actually get the moving carts up a ramp and that takes you on the first floor and then you can take the elevator up to whichever floor. Well, let's get into the tour. The door has two locks. The key works for both of them. But there's like a hallway light, living room light, a little shoe mat. Um, this is the living room. This is what it looks like when you walk in. You have a storage closet right in front of you. It's a little walk-in situation. to the right we have the living room again this is my futon and ottoman but the university provides these two tall shelves this small shelf there's a thermostat there's like room for a tv here but i don't personally have one they provide the table the chairs the couch and that chair and the it's coffee table okay so i have some like throw blankets and pillows just that i've brought and have these cute little fake plants some cute little decorations and my length in there and I keep my jewelry in it same from my dorm from before um, I have this ottoman opens and I just keep like slippers and extra towels in there um, so yeah, let's get into the kitchen. This is the view. Um, it faces east. This is our Sheffield parking garage. And then this is Centennial Hall, which has like public safety and housing. And then that way is the Sullivan Athletic Center and then like the student center is a bit further. This is the kitchen. They give you a fridge with a freezer, a microwave, a dishwasher, a stove. I brought my Keurig. Um, I have some supplies. I brought a toaster oven and a toaster. And yeah, the windows are just beautiful. 
I love the view, it's so cute. I forgot to turn the light on, but it's fine. I keep that blind closed just because it just faces like a brick building and it's boring. But I love this beautiful brick wall. I'm in room, I'm not gonna say the floor because I don't wanna like dox myself, but it ends in 03. So if you're on any floor and it's the third room, you have a pretty similar layout, I'm pretty sure it's, I looked at the floor plan on Sanctuary Hall's website and you're gonna have the same like living room setup with this beautiful brick wall. Um, so you got on the hallway again, I showed the storage closet. This is like a maintenance closet, so it's locked. I actually had maintenance in here earlier because my ceiling is leaking um, <laughs> because no one's used the water all summer and now that we're back, it's like having some issues. Um, hopefully it'll get fixed. But So this is the bathroom. We got some cabinets in the sink. Sink in the mirror. The mirror doesn't like open or anything. It's just on the wall. And yeah, the sanctuary hall provides free toilet paper at the front desk, but you can't actually like put it in the toilet paper holder. So that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, and then you got the shower. They provide the curtain. Um, it has a bath function. Yep. And now let's head into the bedroom. So this bedroom is for three people. So this is my side. I don't have any decorations up. I want to hang this poster, like tapestry thing, and some fairy lights. Um, it's kind of boring right now just because I don't know which decorations I want to put up now because I'm not sure which ones my roommates want to have in the living room. Um, but along with the storage closet in the hallway, you have this full closet. I've already taken up this side. But one of my roommates can take this side, the other can take the storage closet in the hallway if we're not using it for anything. Um, so I have some boxes that I need my parents to take home for now. But I have this organizer, I have some bags, and then... I have my laundry basket and all my clothes with these organizers. So this closet organizer, hanger, organizer and the shelf organizer are both on my Amazon storefront. I'll put the link for it in my bio. Um, this is a three-tiered shelf and the drawers I've taken out and just left them out because I have more clothes in here. And then I have this three-drawer unit with t-shirts and hoodies and sweatpants and leggings. So the university in this room provides your bed frame, your drawer unit, your desk, and your desk extension. I mean, you can see that with the other beds that they have the desk, the drawer, and the little side table. Um, so yeah, oh, and the little rocking chair. And then this is the view. Again, it's really pretty, the trees, the buildings, you can see some taller buildings out in the distance. It's really pretty. Over by my desk, I also have this three-tiered cart. I think it's from Target, but you could probably get one on Amazon. And I have these stackable drawers that before they were under my futon, um, but they just have like miscellaneous storage items. I have this little like coat rack and I have like purses and bags. Um, then I just use this for like hair supplies. And I have some more storage things under there. Um, I have some little storage holders for makeup and nail supplies. I have more storage things for um, like school supplies, this laptop holder, stuff for my pens. I have to hang up my calendar and put these dry erase markers up. So yeah, there's still a couple things I need to get going to get settled in, but that's what it looks like. I believe that is it for my sanctuary hall apartment tour. I know there's similar options in McCabe and Sheffield Square as far as upperclassmen living where you can live with anywhere from one other roommate beside yourself to like seven if you're in the townhomes. So there's a bunch of upperclassmen options. They're definitely more accessible and easier than trying to find an apartment 
but they can get a little expensive. So it's just on your needs as an individual, I would say. Hope that was helpful. Definitely leave some comments down below if you have any questions. I would be more than happy to answer. Any items that I have that I think are helpful are already linked on my Amazon storefront. I have a page for like dorm essentials and I'll put that link down below. I know I would technically like get commissions, but you don't have to get those exact products. It's more just to like help get inspiration as far as what organizational things you might want for your place. Make sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna make a TikTok sanctuary haul because I literally am a TikTok influencer and I like forget that TikTok is a thing. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.